Oh my god! <laughs> Show them what Carol gave you. Bon voyage! Oh hi sailors! We are on our first virgin voyage in Athens. So excited. So about a month and a half ago, Virgin got in contact with my management and basically offered me and Sean the opportunity to experience one of their cruises, which was a dream. Me and Sean have actually been wanting to do a cruise for a while, hadn't we? Right. We'd looked at different ones. We'd never really been shy and we've seen loads of vlogs we've been doing so much like watching vlogs and tiktoks and everything on the virgin ones and they look so good don't they yeah. we are so excited i've made way an itinerary of stuff that i've booked on the ship off the ship like this is probably going to be i hope a really good holiday I think it's going to be uh, good. Busy. Busy, yeah. Busy. We're making a point of yeah. keeping ourselves busy. We've been on a lifestyle journey leading up to this holiday and we want to maintain that on yeah. the holiday. Eat better, just just do better. Do things that make us feel good as well as also having like a life and party in a bit as well. Yeah. Um, so we're going to try and be just, oh, we're going to just, oh, I'm just so excited. I haven't even got words. Like I'm just word vomiting. You got anything to say? Well, we've just got on the ship. Yeah. Shower, change and kind of like just settle in. You've got to watch a video on the app and on the yeah. telly. And like now, a security now video. Go, like a uh, checkpoint to check in. Yeah. And I think that's where you go if something happens. Yeah. And then after that, we're going to just probably mince around and have a look on it. Yeah, so come back, there. get ready. And, and then, then there's a pool party tonight as the ship, like departs isn't there yeah. so that'll be quite interesting we'll go to that um but yeah i am so beyond excited and grateful to virgin voyages for allowing us to be part of one of their cruises and i just can't wait to see what the next week is all about we'll bring you along we'll tell you everything we're tmi type of people anyway so we'll tell you absolutely everything about the cruise what you need to know what we're like what we're dislike like we'll tell all mm -hmm. um sean's very excited to try the food on the cruise aren't you yeah, i'm actually hungry I, know, I was thinking I could do with something to eat. Like I'm excited as well. I've only had them. Quite well, breakfast, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited to be fair because um, there seems to be quite good plant-based options as well. So that's exciting for me, of course. I had a great croissant this morning. If you haven't seen the previous travel vlog, watch that because we found a gem of a little place, didn't yeah. we? I got vegan croissants and it was... Apple pie for breakfast. Oh, delightful. <laughs> I don't regret it. It was so good. <laughs> anyway, so this is going to be the start of our Virgin Voyages Greek Island Glow tour cruise whatever you call it was so excited and thank you so much for clicking on this video and coming along with me first things first let's go check in so we're trying to look for our cabin we're walking running 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 we are here okay Suzanne here but this is should be our room oh my god this is the kids like welcome welcome aboard people this is cute this is so uh, lush it actually it? is the size of the balcony as we said didn't we yes. but it just fits doesn't it but it doesn't feel claustrophobic no. and small does it there's your little ipad look at our glasses with the water <laughs> oh my god this is this is cute get me out uh, read instructions <laughs> oh my god Right, I've been waiting for this moment. <laughs> <laughs> so we, <laughs> I need to uh, get accustomed to this. So we are checked in. Look at that. Ew! <laughs> you want we, to no, your back's fine actually. <laughs> we yes, are. You walking in like that looked cool. <laughs> looked cool. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, so we are checked in. It is so cute, isn't it? Yeah, bon voyage. This bon voyage means good trip. I don't know. Bad. Can someone correct us? Bon voyage. Look cute. <laughs> okay, so we are eventually ready. I have just blow dried my hair. I've got my face done. I look quite pale there. Anyway, we are ready and we are off for the first night. We've had our little security briefing and everything. We're going for the first night. We're going to try and grab something to eat and then there's a pool party when the um, ship leaves. So I feel like we want to go to that, don't we? Um, but we're going to try and get something to eat now, grab a drink and stuff like that because we haven't had anything since our breakfast. We're a little bit hungry. But yeah, yes, yeah, the start of the holiday. Cheers! Yeah! 
we're just having a walk around the ship. We're looking for something to eat, um, but we're just having a bit of a browse. There's loads of like seating areas, big stairs, there's so much here. Looks like there's food or something in here, does it? This is everything that is on. All the different things. Tells you exactly where they are as well, which is nice and handy. So we've come like to the food court thing and found a bento box. Wasn't sure if we were allowed to just take it, but she was like, yeah, yeah, you just take it. So bento box. We're gonna have this just as a little snack because we're hungry. I got the um vegan cucumber rolls one. It's like this. Look at all the desserts. Okay. So, they it means vegan. Oh my god, Brazilian lady. Don't know, but you need to try it. All this salad options. All oh, looks really fresh as well. It looks really good. Breads. Then there's drinks. So you get like tea, coffees, and essential drinks as part of the um, cruise ground club. This must be like coffees. And then these fridges here. Yeah, when there's stuff in them, you can kind of just have what you want. Um, so it tells you there like what's gluten free, nuts free, tells you like what different things are. We've got a lemonade, it's like a proper fresh lemonade that MS do, so Sean will be buzzing. MS on board. And then I've gone for this quick seafood. Um, so this is the farmer's market vegetable wrap, grilled, grilled squash, eggplant, vegan cheese, smoked paprika, and veganese. Looks good, so I've gone for this. It's good to know where this is in case I get hungry and just pick up a snack. Right. And Sean's got for the chicken one, is it? I smoked turkey breast with cheese and olive aloe oil. Good stuff. So this is what we're having. We have just had the sushi, but it was small, and we haven't had much all day. So this is what we're going to have now. So we have come to the Richard's rooftop, which is part of the um, thing that they've given us for being on the trip type thing. But I bumped into Megan, who, Megan on Instagram, I hope you know her, I'll put her Instagram on the screen now. Um, we bumped into each other, she's on um, the cruise with her boyfriend as well. So it's really exciting, hopefully we'll get to like have cocktails and that together tomorrow, because they're gonna have like an early night tonight. But it's like a pool party going on at the main pool, but we've come here just for a chill and a cocktail. Um, it is so hot, it's like beautiful. Yeah, it's nice and calm. So we just came here to get a cocktail, see what it's about. And um, we're gonna go to the pool area now though, I think, and just have a look there on work. I actually fancy having a little dip, so we'll see. We bumped into Megan, Carol, she was so lush, wasn't she? So I've actually known Megan for years, to be fair. Like, we followed each other on Instagram for a really long time. But it's like one of them people that I'd never actually met, but felt like I had, like I felt like I knew her. Um, and she was just as lush in person, because she's actually been on the Virgin Voyages before, so she was telling them all about it, and telling them we're like the best things to do, the nicest places. So it was nice to have that to know, wasn't it? But yeah, it's just I'm just so buzzing to be here. Like, it just doesn't even feel real. Like, it's just a crazy moment. Currently on Sun Loungers with our Heinegans at the pool. Can all draft? Can again. Don't think they're draft swing. It's nice though. <laughs> What a fucking night, man. So, we went, literally, we left here, we went straight to the place where you, like, get free food and you're just taken off the fucking rack. But Sean was like, do you just take the food? The woman at the sushi bar was like, yeah, just yeah, take what you want. So I got, like, tuna sushi. Uh, no, I didn't get tuna. I got cucumber sushi rolls, which were good. Yeah, I got mixed. Yeah. Which was like, I think it was tuna. Which I think was showed. Duck, whatever. Yeah. Right. So then from there, we went to the wrap like the other deli bar, I got right. a wrap, wrap you got a sandwich. Because <laughs> we were starving because we'd only had breakfast. So then from there, we went to the pool area because when we left the shore or the port, there was like a pool yeah. party thing. <sighs> <laughs> there was like a pool party thing, which was like quite decent. I mean, right. it was just like, and then I met Megan, which I think I told you is about. We looked at Richardson's rooftop, which was good. What? <laughs> Richardson's. Richard's. Richard's. Richard's rooftop. Yeah, because Richard Branson. Went there. Uh, went there. Which was actually quiet. It was actually dead. Yeah. But it was actually good though. Because like, yeah. the, the other pool party was quite quite lively. And, and then there, Sean left us twice at the pool because one, you went to get changed to your shorts. Right. I met a guy. 
who worked as a producer on Jane the Virgin, and then his mate who he's with a writer on Jane the Virgin. And I was just like, <coughs> what? And then we moved Sunbeds and Sean left again to... Change again. Change again. Right. Likes to change his clothes, you change know. Out. You wouldn't fucking think <laughs> it. Um, and who did I meet there? Oh, two guys who are from Newcastle. Right. I said I heard someone doing a Geordie accent, and I went, "Well, that's a bit shit, isn't it?" Like just joking, but kind of not joking because it was a bit shit. And then he was like, "Oh, sorry, but he was from Southampton." And then the two guys there were like, "Are you from Newcastle?" I was like, "I am. Are you?" And they literally live like not far from me and Sean. Mid, they're going to the PJ party because tonight there's a PJ party. <laughs> So after that, we went for tea at the Pink Algarve. Mexican. Mexican. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it oh. was so good. I did not expect cruise ship food to be oh, good, I'm not oh. going to lie. Like, little disclaimer, I thought it was going to be shit. <laughs> Fuck me. Best steak Ooh. I've ever had in my life. Beats Milan Corner, beats Tomahawk. I I had, like, a, um, Unbelievable. guacamole dish, and then I had this, like, what was it, an enchilada? Starting out, it had, too little enchiladas. But it had mashed potato in it. it was, no. And it does not sound good, right? No, but but oh, oh, oh. And it, they give you peanuts to start. Yeah. And they were phenomenal. They're spicy, but phenomenal. That pink old garlic. Like slightly warm. The sesame seeds. There was a big clump of garlic in. Proper big garlic. Mushy. <laughs> I tried one of them. I thought it was a little spicy. It was spicy. It was spicy. But yeah. And then my main was like spinach oh, mashed yeah. potato wrapped in spinach yeah, so. <laughs> so uh, and I, I, I had literally got a steak and that's all I was on the plate right? it was a bit disappointing when I seen it because like, he's like where's the fucking chips <laughs> ten other words were with it so I was like what's a steak with other but things but it was just like top. it was a steak with other things on top of it onions and cheese and yeah. a sauce but it was, it was so the best steak I had like like I say Peter Miller caught on a uh, tomahawk yeah not, not, a, not a chance I would oh, say this is the best. Oh, I would say. Oh, so then I was like, we were looking for something that was on. So it's so good. If you book one of the cruises, you download the Virgin Voyages app and it tells you an itinerary of every minute of the, the day. And it was like, oh, there's this show coming on. And I'm not going to lie, like, I didn't understand the word. It was like po poem. The Red Room. That's all we were going Yeah, on. it was just like, in the Red Room, something's happening. So I was like, all oh, the Red Room, but we'll go. So in any way, we went there from dinner and we stood in a, it, it was a bit like a nightclub. Vibe, right. but like stages darted all over well, it was, right? it and was. then all of a sudden this fucking huge show like right. it, was, oh. it was like main stage down the middle yeah and you had four podiums with people around it though yeah it was like pools and hoops in the middle of a nightclub and people Outfits were pool dancing were like, oh. and rings it was good like it was so good anyway it was phenomenal so then we've left there we've come back to our room to get in our pajamas because this is a pajama party and we've met loads of people. Like, we, we're the type of people, though, that'll go on holiday, right? One, we don't ever meet friends. The Americans think we're Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> right. So the guy from Jane the Virgin was in front uh, of her. So I kind of, like, ran... Because he was quite drunk at the pool. And I kind of, like, ran up to him. And I was like, what did I say? I, I think, think you said oi. I went, <laughs> oi. oi I went, oi, are you sobered up now? Because, like, he was really drunk around the pool. Uh, and I went, oi, are you sobered up? And he just went, I thought you were speaking Spanish. <laughs> I was like... No, yeah. I'm not. He just yeah. nah, he didn't have a clue. Me and him were like blah 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 blah, and he was just like, I don't know what you said, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I am just the highest of the high. We've met two American, a mother and a daughter <laughs> at the bar, who were yeah. so funny, chatting away to me. He went to the toilet, and she'd asked previously when Sean was there if we were engaged, and I said, Yeah, we've been engaged like what four years. And then when he went to the toilet, she went. So what's the goss then? Is it not going to work? Like, for yeah. I was like, oh no, like, you know, just not that bothered. <laughs> it was just like, uh, okay. Like, you meet friends so easily because everyone's so chatty. Megan was here as well, which is really nice to have someone that I kind of know on the cruise. Because yeah. Megan told me that the rooftop, um, Richard's rooftop, give you Prosecco from like five to six. Sick, so like, it's nice to have her, who's already been on to tell with things that we might not have known. But for a f and I feel like as well, when me and you go on holiday, we've did this quite a few times. Me and Sean will go on a like holiday to a destination, for example, Corfu, Tenerife, wherever you end up going, and we'll go there and we really struggle to find what to do. Like we will look on our maps, we'll find bars, but we have had a lot of places we've been and we've walked around for a long time. Right. Just not really knowing what to do, where to go. Yeah. Whereas my first experience on this, I mean, you know, this night I'd be great and all the others I might not enjoy, but Tonight, it was just like, we walked in there, something to do. Fucking huge show. Mm -hmm. We had with tea. 
Like we did have to wait 20 minutes for the tea because we didn't book, but didn't book. Well, it's not that bad. We just sat on the bar. We just right. sat on the bar and had a drink. Like it's just absolutely like I'm just in an absolute bubble. Like oh. it's so good. And also this, by the way, so when you leave your room, you don't have to take any cash for you. All tips are included, so you can't tip the people who are yeah everything's just done um and you just like scan this little bracelet they give you and that kind of scans like your money um so you'll have money linked to your account because you link your card and stuff like that um but yeah it's just you just literally can leave your room with just that on it's done good it is honestly like first night 10 out of 10 way higher than i expected it to be i just can't believe i can't believe i'm here i can't believe i'm here this is sean's jammies <laughs> As if he's walking around the cruise ship. Yeah, <laughs> you look so good. Strut your stuff. Go on. Show them what Carol gave you. <laughs> I kind of cheated. Yeah. Drop us, drop us in the shit. <laughs> it's it's drawing. It is, it's, huh? it's Beyonce, being her fucking CeeLo Green, being her Madonna, and Kylie, everything. She's been everywhere. The pajama party we is have so good. Everywhere. Everywhere. My hair's busy as fuck because I'm sweating. People ask us where I got my bottoms from, my tops from. <laughs> everything. I said, you know, you'll have to wait. I am literally sweating. Sweating. We're this gonna go. Like... That's some beat. See this what's what... in the takeout section. Yeah. yeah, but this is what I was doing, look, in the dance party I was going on. Uh, uh, just like that. Just like that. Nice. Sean was looking at me, right? Where were we for food? Seven. Sean so was looking at me and I was like, how the fuck did I know? Uh, exactly. He's like, how is she nine? Exactly. It smells cheese. Ah, I take a margarita, I know. Three, put shagging in there. <coughs> Whoop. Yeah. Yeah. People do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Please and just getting a pizza. <laughs> this is how we get a pizza. <laughs> Day one complete. I've got pizza, some sort of pizza, basically just cheese, I think. Then we've got a vegan pizza. What a fucking night. Very proud of our Jami dancing. We've got a man called Otto on the telly. I feel it with that man. Yeah. Do I feel it? I just asked you, you said you haven't seen it. I have. Hey, what's the game? I've got Because Virgin give you like, there's loads of movies, series to watch on their telly. Great. How good is my dancing? Very good. I made a lot of no. friends. I was dying. I was fucking elite, mate. I was just like. Back on the boat now. We are going to go to the Richardson's rooftop. For Richardson's, Richards. Because Megan told her yesterday they do free Prosecco from 5 to 6 and I was like, well, I'll have a Prosecco then, go on. So we'll go in there now for an hour, probably like stay by some of the pools for a bit, go in the pools and then come back and get ready to go out for our tea and so... Are you not No. A night we've come in the test kitchen, which I'm gonna let Meg explain. This is Meg. Hello! <laughs> we'll go in, we so we've come to the test kitchen, yeah. which is basically the onboard culinary, 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 culinary yeah. experience, which is basically a six course, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. set menu that comes out and it's all different pairings of different foods and different flavours, and it's really, really fun to experience. But we, we've added our little packages, Drinks, haven't we? Yeah. We've added our drink packages. 
which is very nice. Josh and I have gone for a, a wine pairing. And me and Sean traditionally gone for a beer. <laughs> but it's nice because then we can see the yeah. two different Definitely, types, and they're really meant to match your courses, aren't they? Yeah, so yeah. we get one every course that comes out, we'll get a new drink, which yeah. will be really fun. Really, really fun. Really but it's fun. really lovely in here as it well. It's like, it's like a science lab. That's kind of what the the vibe they're going for, I think. Like, we're, even with like all the metal. And, yeah. Yeah, and, and everyone comes in lab coats, which is just... Yeah, it's, so it's cool. like a one-off experience type thing as yeah. well. Yeah. So I feel like we definitely wanted to do it. We just hadn't booked it, so it'd be nice. Yeah. Um, and they have vegan options, so that is and they do. a positive. They do. Um, the big one is a portobello mushroom custard. So the big portobello, we chop, we blend it with some ingredient like a garlic, onion inside of that, and we put in a mold. Oh, on the top. Like yeah, it's like oh, a okay. it's like a pate. So on the top we have a fortune in powder. Because the simaji mushroom is all the way from Japan. And we have for butter mushroom gel. So it's four different mushrooms in one plate. Okay? Perfect. And for you special, my popular is we have uh, gazpacho. It's a frozen gazpacho and gazpacho liquid. Both is the same ingredient made from tomato, red pepper, and also a little bit cucumber. We have a frozen and a liquid, and we're serving with a tomato cherry. And on the top is a basil seed. It's a very refreshing flavor. Also, we have the egg yolk confit on the middle, kale puree, fresh English peas, fresh virgin caviar, and this one is a beer bread made with the Guinness. And for you, ladies, Guinness. yes, <laughs> we have the egg, fresh English peas, and caviar olive oil, very fancy, like you, and the bread. This. Have you ever had caviar? I remember you, you did. You went. We love peas. You just know you're gonna have a good time with peas. Oh, oh, oh! The peas are growing. Get my ass. Right, one of you're going for peas and your olive oil. A little bit of caviar. Olive oil, caviar. Olive oil, caviar. You ready? Right. Caviar, olive oil, caviar. Do you know what? It's a ca what's a caviar like? I couldn't really taste much. <laughs> A little, a, there's a, like a little bit of fish, like okay. a little fish taste. People have said it's not that fishy. It's not, it what isn't. I've, I've had things worse fishy, but... One we're pulling, we call it a serrano ham broth. It's actually the basic, it's a chicken stock Ooh. with serrano ham. We boil it for six hours. We get a strong reduction, strong flavor of saltiness or meat flavor. Lovely. And special for you, we have a beautiful asparagus. We call it asparagus panna cotta. It's a blend between uh, asparagus, it's a blend of asparagus, almond and soya. Ooh. And we're serving on the top, we have our white and green asparagus, some fried onion, and you see the small mushroom, also we're having pickled hosimeji mushroom, and the black Russian bread is a charcoal bread. the deep Lindos went Lindos Beach went to uh, Acropolis I think and then it's about five o'clock got back here was sealing at half five that's about half five now went quick downstairs had a little bite to eat upstairs see if it's working it's not unlocking take your code in see if it's opening it's not but what I've done on your little iPad on your iPad there basically you've just got your room controls You've got your entertainment, you've got movies, services, and you just click what your problem is. Ours was in the maintenance section, you go on services, you ask for a towel, clean your cabin, your bed, your water, I want some ice. I went on maintenance, cabin safe. And then when you click that, it just said we'll be in touch. Just see how long they are. Simple, it's good. It's a really good thing, this tablet. This little tablet, it just sits at a stop station. You can turn the telly on from it. We'll actually close the curtains as well. Watch it. Like that. One button. Oh yeah. Close the curtains, open the curtains. The lights as well. Do we want the lights? TV. And that's just them buttons up there. Top row. Symbol. It's mint. But if you can just get the radio. We just had the radio on. That's your TV circle. That's a TV on. That was your lights and that's your curtains. And then when you're on here, this is your movies. It's a long here. We've just had a little DJ save your life. 
So this is in the galley and this is the food that you're just able to take any time you want. So you have a roasted chicken salad, there's a Caesar salad pre-made with a vegetable salad um, and then you have this which I've had two of already, it's a beautiful, it's the vegetable wrap and then you have this cheese box and then there's also smoked turkey breast and then down here you have a um, chocolate mousse but this is just like throughout the day stands like this and you can just come and grab it when you want. It's also bananas and oranges as well just to quickly grab this is everything that's in the galley which is the main like food court place obviously you have restaurants separate but you have um paninis that's what we had this morning it was really good noodle we haven't tried yet taco we haven't tried yet <clears throat> um pop star popsicles we've not tried bento box sushi is beautiful tap that um what's that beverages don't think we've tried that yet dinner and dash haven't tried burger sean's tried and he liked it then you have the pastry and um, bakery which we've both had something from gun bay is where we're going to go on thursday with our friends then you have the soup and salad which i've just had it was beautiful then the coffee shop which is where i am now to get an iced coffee oh will you grab it for me for an iced coffee and then um you have just like another fridge thing there another food thing um and then yeah beer and wine but this is the overview of like the main food area Okay, so I have an iced latte here. So you do pay extra for specialty coffees like iced lattes and cappuccinos and lattes, but the coffee Sean's got is just like a drip coffee and they're available just to get whenever you want, along with tea, pops, juices, all of that. You can just grab when you want. Um, but you do have to pay for like the specialty ones and stuff. So, but it's delicious, like it's only four euro and I'm like, well, I'd be buying them at home, so. You can see walking around the ship there's always something to do twister games there's a huge chess game basketball court there's plenty of seating area so you look can look out at the beautiful views on the sea binoculars in case you want to have a peek there's just so much to do and i feel like they've thought of everything that people could potentially want to do while they're on board um the pool areas were quite nice as well so this is the kind of more quiet jacuzzi area and another thing that i really liked is you never have to wait long for a lift i'm back at the room demi's getting a uh, blow dry now on a hair. We've been in a bedroom, done like a bus tour. But anyway, I've got myself. I think I've come back and I just feel drained. Doing 12,000 steps on this 
today so far and I just feel like I've come back and I've had a glass of coke, a glass of lemonade, I've had a bottle of water, that's now my orange juice and I just had a lovely pizza in Bodrum, just now got an O box, some sushi. I was looking for the ice cream and I couldn't find it, they had ice lollies so I had an ice lolly. Just a little. Looks like King Prawns, something else. I've got that, but I'm drained. There's a cruise ship next to it as well. I ducked in, like buses parked at the bus station. If he's getting a hair done, I'm just back of the room. And I just feel knackered. So I did get a blow dry, which cost $100. You'll see why this might not have been the brightest choice. And then I had a look round at the ship, found places I hadn't found, and then it was time for Gun Bay and Scarlet Knife. Just go for the picture spot. <laughs> There's a sign of like a virgin sign and the boat's all red and I just thought Megan told me about so it. Sun setting so it should be good lights and all that. Jazz. Which one wasn't good for? I'm going to have to see if I'm colder but you know. But this bit's mad yeah. There's the staff playing basketball. There's like seesaws and swings. So we're gonna count the number. Start from one, two, three, four, five, six, four, uh, follow clockwise. When your turn, count the number with number three or six or nine in there. Three, six, nine. Not double, not multiple. Three, six, nine. Thirteen, sixteen, nineteen. Right. We're not allowed to say those numbers. Okay. We have three, six, six, nine. But instead, we. Uh huh. One, two, three. Guys, this is now Scarlet Night. Hundred dollars on a blow dry. <laughs> Everyone jump. <laughs> Everyone jump. Oh, I'm not sure. 
everyone jumped in the pool as in like dunked. I thought like maybe double the feet. Mm -hmm. No, it was a waste of money. No, no. I paid hundred dollars for that air. But it was sexy air. Does chlorine tear now? I'm not sure what my next move is. Oh, this way. This way. Don't know what to do now. I'll just have to rock it. I'm wandering about the boat now. Got myself a hot dog from the it's like a diner that's on the boat now. Got a pastrami hot dog. Um, then he's up the room, still resting that ankle. It's still sore, so I've been up and down getting that food and drinks, whatever. Um, you, can get, you can get a room service in that, but there's a menu and that, and should we want anything on that? So I've just been going down getting what she wants. Yeah, I'm on the, you know, all the life boats and that. There's like an arcade over there, there's a bar there. Never been this one so far. I tried. They do like hot dogs, milkshakes, sweets, and like popcorn and that. So there's like a pub on board called the, uh, the Loose Cannon. Got myself a beer, draft beer of uh, La Guinitas. La Guinitas. Something like that, anyway. We'll take an IP. We'll have to uh, buy a glass or I can get a picture. I've got me some glasses, so I'll go back to the room, get them, and I'll have them around the deck. There's loads of good like seats and beds and like swings to sit on and things like that, so it's quite good. Might go out there and have some beer. Go to quite busy the day with it, being at say the day, go back to Athens and that. Uh, I was sitting around it before with uh, Megan and Josh, but I just go for some beer and sit down. Because I haven't really been at the back of the boat where you can sit down a lot, so like, it's a bit more chilled around there. Back for some more food at the galley. Got a bento box, bone, sushi. Got a chocolate donut with the bacon on top and coffee. There's just like loads of coffee you can get yourself. There's just like loads of coffee you can get. Like the big flask that's got a little spout on it. Get that with a bit of milk. Just fancy the bento box and a donut. Then we're still in the room getting rejuvenated. Okay guys, so as you can see on Saturday I was not in the vlog. The last you seen of me was at the end of Scarlet Night and that's because I broke my foot. Not the end to a holiday I wanted but I am not going to spoil this amazing holiday vlog whinging about my broken foot. Okay, so I'm going to swiftly ignore that for the moment. I will talk about it on a video. Not this video, not the next video, the video after that is when I'm kind of back to reality and I'm going to have to mention it. I'm going to have to obviously talk more about it to you guys. But all of this footage was obviously pre-filmed when I was on holiday. It's the most amazing vlog and I am so grateful for the most amazing week. It was the best holiday of mine and Sean's entire life and I'm, I'm truly, truly beyond grateful that I got to experience what I did. I'm already looking at my like next cruise. Like I absolutely cannot wait. Can you guess where I'm looking to go next? I'll have the link to Virgin Voyages Cruises in the description box below. They've given us a really kind offer, which if any of you guys do want to book a cruise, if you book through my link, you'll get £200 loot money. The loot money is the onboard spending money, so that'll be £200 for you to spend on drinks, whatever you want aboard the ship. But yeah, I had the best holiday ever. I'm already looking at my next cruise. I mean, it's not going to be for a while because of the broken foot situation, but it was the best experience of my entire life and I cannot be more thankful to Virgin Voyagers and everybody involved in making this happen. Thank you so 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 much and um, I really hope you enjoyed the holiday vlog. I try to include everything that I felt like you would want to know that would be important, show the parts of the ship in which I feel like people would have questions about. However if you feel like there's something that I didn't include in this video which you have a question about please leave it below. I have a lot of spare time at the minute because I do have a broken foot which I'm resting so I will definitely answer you and get back to you. I can even do a cruise Q&A um, at some point if that's something you feel like you want, if there's enough questions and stuff. But other than that, I'll just answer you in the comments. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And the next vlog you see will be everything we got up to in the islands. So we went to um, three Greek islands. We went to Santorini, Rhodes and Mykonos. And then we did have a day in Turkey, Bodrum as well. So everything we got up to in the islands will be on the next island vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your love and support. And I'll see you very shortly for another one. Bye!